Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Uh, I've had a couple of people ask me about a, uh, what I use for my bird's nest tenders uh, for starting fires and things. And it's just regular jute twine. Uh, it comes in a little package like this. Uh, you got to be careful when you buy it because some of it will say fire retardant on it and you don't want that stuff. You want the stuff that says that, I don't even think it says anything on here about uh, fire retardant or anything. Uh, this is 190 feet and I think I got it for like a dollar. Uh, also really good for cordage in the woods, but it's uh, really good for starting a fire. All you need to do is unravel it. Uh, and I'll show you how I do that and how it works in starting a fire. This is what you end up with guys uh, when you're done. You'll end up with something like this. So I've cut a, uh, a piece out of the roll and you just reach in here and get the, get the string and pull it out as much as you need. Um, that's a little long. I like to cut them down in a little smaller pieces. Uh, all usually six inches or so works perfect. And it should be in three, uh, three pieces. Just unravel the three pieces. Once you have this unraveled, you just kind of unravel it again, start fluffing it up. As you can see, the fibers pull apart. In essence, what you're trying to do is get as much surface area to take a spark or a flame as you possibly can get. And just add that to the bundle. Okay, I think you get the idea of what I'm, what we're going for here. So I'm going to take a small piece of this, lay it on my stump here. Now generally I would want a uh, big tender bundle for this to go in. Now I want to show you how this uh, takes a spark fairly well. Uh, one of the easiest ways, just to keep from burning up all my jute, just use a little bit at a time. I'm just going to use a cigarette lighter on this one. As you can see, it goes up really quick and really fast. Okay, I'm going to try it with a piece of char cloth and a flint and steel. I've already got a... Yeah, may I just put it out. Alright, got some ignition there. Let's drop that into our little bundle here. Now, of course, we'd want a bigger bundle if we were actually going to try to start a fire. Generally, I'd drop it into something like that. As you can see, it's a pretty multi-purpose uh, thing to have in your kit. And uh, for a dollar, you get 190 feet of it. That makes a lot of, uh, a lot of material for tender bundles. Well, guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I hope that answered your question. Uh, that was pretty much directed at uh, Mr. Abba1222. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please rate, comment. I'm pretty active now uh, on my YouTube channel, so uh, try to get back with you as soon as I can. You guys have a great day, and I hope to see you in the woods.